how to pass safety net on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can pass safety net on your Xiaomi Poco F1 if you are rooted. To note, you need to be rooted using Magisk and you need to have Magisk Manager installed. I have a separate video on how to root your Xiaomi Poco F1. And in the same video, I show you how you can install Magisk Manager. That video is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. Once you have rooted your Xiaomi Poco F1, you need to open Magisk Manager and once Magisk Manager has opened, if you tap on this option which says tap to start safety net check, tap on this guy and as you can see right now my safety net status or the CTS profile is set to false. That means that safety net is failing and we're going to fix that in this video. Once you are inside Magisk Manager, you need to click on the three bar menu on the top left and then you need to click on downloads. We need to download two modules. The first one is called BusyBox for Android. So let me go ahead and type in that BusyBox. So we need to download this guy, BusyBox for Android NDK version 1.29.3. This is the version at the time of recording this video. It might change. So you need the latest version or whichever is the latest one available. Click on this icon, the download guy on the right hand side and click on install, click on allow. Once BusyBox has installed successfully, we do not need to reboot. We need to click on the close button and we need to search again. So we'll click on the X mark on the top right and the next module which we need to install is the Magisk Hide Props Config. Let me type that in. So we need to install this guy, Magisk Hide Props Config. Again, click on the download or the down arrow on the right hand side of the name of the module and then click on install. Once this module has installed successfully, we need to click on reboot. Back into Android, we need to open the Google Play Store application and we need to install a terminal emulator application. So we'll search for terminal emulator and we will install the one by Jack. Click on this guy and then click on install. I will of course leave a link to this application in the description of this video so that you can click on it and install it directly on your phone without having to search for it. Once we have installed the application successfully, we will click on open and we will get a terminal window. Over here, the first command which we need to type in is su. So we'll type in su and then you need to click on the enter button on the keyboard. You should get a super user prompt. If you do not get it, like I'm not getting it right now, there's nothing to worry. All you need to do is open Magisk Manager. Once you have opened Magisk Manager, click on the home button and open your recents and open the terminal emulator application one more time. And you should get a super user prompt, click on grant. Now the next command which we need to enter is props, P-R-O-P-S, and then press the enter key on the keyboard. Another thing to make sure is that you're connected to the internet. Now you have multiple options. These are your various options which you get on the screen. And we need to enter the number one as our option we'll type in one and then press the enter key on the keyboard and as you can see it automatically picked up my device which is the xiaomi poco f1 over here we need to type in f and then press the enter key one more time and now it is showing us the device fingerprint which we need to choose it's showing the various manufacturers so xiaomi is at number 18 we'll go ahead and type in 18 which is 18 and then press the enter key one more time and now we have a list of all the xiaomi devices the poco phone is at number 17 as you can see right here number 17 xiaomi poco f1 in brackets 9 meaning android pi we'll enter the number 17 and then press the enter key now it is telling me that it is using xiaomi poco f1's fingerprint whether i'm sure or not type in y to confirm that is y for yes Press the enter key and now it is telling me whether I want to reboot my device or not. We'll type in Y. We want to reboot our device. Press the enter key. Back into Android, we'll open Magisk Manager and then tap to start the safety net check. This guy and bam, there it is. CTS profile is now set to true, which means we are passing safety net on a Xiaomi Poco F1. That's it for this video, peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. 
see you when I see you.